if a person is 15 years old, he must fast. He, is, he has reached the age of puberty by, by completing 15 years of age. If not, by ejaculation. If he gets uh, a wet dream or he's able to uh, perform, uh, ejaculate, to perform uh, sexual intercourse, even if he's 11 years old, even if he's 12 years old, then he has reached the age of puberty. If not, if he simply grows, not by himself, it grows by itself, if he grows the hair on, on the, pubic, the pubic hair, uh, the hair that uh, grows over the private uh, parts of uh, ma a, ma a male or a female, then he has reached the age of puberty. What happens when you reach the age of puberty? Before one of these three happens, you are not accountable. So if a child dies like eight years, nine years old, and he has not uh, reached any of these three options uh, or, or, or three uh, things that I've uh, mentioned earlier, then he's not accounted. Allah Almighty will not punish him. But if he is 15 years old and he commits a sin, he sins, then he is questioned for what he did. And he is uh, probably going to be punished for what he did. Even if he was 12 years old, but he uh, uh, already uh, had the ejaculation. So he would be uh, questioned for his deeds and actions. So if you're 12 years old, that's good for you. But do you have to fast? You have to look if any of these conditions are uh, applied to you. Beside that, the, the, the children of the companions, even when they were seven, eight years old, they used to force them to fast at least half a day three quarters of the day, depending on their energy and their uh, ability to tolerate hunger uh, and thirst, according to their strength. So they would, as, as narrated by one of the companions, uh, she said that we used to make dolls, dolls, you know, dolls dummies. We, 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 they used to make dolls for their children made of wool, made of wool, and they would keep it. And if it is half day or three, four hours before the break of, uh, before a sunset, the children would fast. But after, you know, three, four hours uh, before sunset, they would feel hungry and they would start crying. They would like to eat. They would like to, to, to drink. So they would give them the, these dolls to play with and they would be engaged with these dolls and forget the food and uh, the drink until it's sunset. So it is recommendable that we teach our children to fast from an early age. But is it a must or no? No, it is not a must. See, teaching them from a very early age is an Islamic way of, of, of teaching and raising our children. We raise our children to pray when they're seven years old. Before that, we would not tell them to pray. The Prophet ﷺ says, order them to pray, order your children to pray when they're seven, and beat them on not praying when they're 10. So these three years, you do not hit your child. You do not talk to your child. Well, you do talk to your child, but you do not uh, uh, punish him for not praying. You have three days, uh, three years, 365 days, five prayers a day. So if you calculate this, maybe it comes up to 4,000 times you say, Come and pray. 4,000 times. What kind of stereotype that is? Eventually, within the three years, if you fulfill this, your child is going to be a good Muslim and he will pray. If you just keep on telling him, oh, th during the three years, do pray. Do pray. Come and pray. And then, after that, 10 years, if he does not comply, if he does not do this, then you may beat him, but you do not uh, torture him. You beat him as a form of of asking him to do this in a little bit strict way, beating him, tapping him, just showing him that you're angry, not hitting him with a stick or, or with, with an axe or, or crucifying him. No, this, is, this is not Islamic. Likewise, in fasting, you teach them to fast. You encourage them to do, do these things. You reward them once they accomplish uh, or, or do achieve something that is good, and uh, you try your best to do it for them. Of course, with the three conditions, that should be fulfilled to reach puberty, females have an extra thing. 
they share the, the same thing, reaching uh, 15 years of age, uh, ejaculation, or uh, growing the hair, uh, the pubic hair, that is, and they have something extra which males don't have, which is uh, administration, having the monthly period, or uh, bearing a child. She, uh, if, 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 uh, if a female bears a, bears a child, if she's pregnant, and, and she's 12 years old, 11 years old, this, this happens, and then she has reached the age of puberty, she'll be questioned, she'll be asked about every single thing at the side of Allah, and Allah Azza wa Jal will hold her accountable uh, for that. Uh, uh, another question, please? What about those who uh, used to abuse and curse and dam damning each other? Uh, is it nullify the uh, the uh, fasting? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Cursing, fighting, and doing things that abuse your your fast does not nullify your fast, but it gets the reward lesser and lesser the more you do these things. See, you have to know the things that nullifies, and you have to know the things that uh, reduce the reward. It is exactly like somebody that is fasting. Okay, he does not drink, he does not eat, he does not do anything that nullifies his fasting. But he watches uh, movies. He just sits on, uh, in front of the screen and watches movies. Says, what are you doing? He says, well, I'm, I'm trying to uh, kill the time kill the time. You're, you're fasting. You should not do this. So, well, it's, it's a sin. It, it, it does not nullify your fasting because fasting is on one side and sins are on the other side. But it reduces the amount of reward you're going to get. So you're not 100% rewarded for what you do. You're like 90%, 80%, 10%, maybe 1% rewarded for your fasting. But your fasting is accepted. You are uh, considered to be uh, fasting, but you are not on uh, the safe side. Any more question? Uh, I was uh, wondering if uh, someone who was Christian and uh, came into Islam, uh, does he have the permission not to fast Ramadan for a while until he gets the idea of Islam clear in his mind and mm -hmm. begins to, you know? Okay. No. If a person reverts to Islam, he is a Muslim. So he is instructed to do all what the Muslims do. But this is a piece of cake. See, as I said in, in, in a previous session, the Prophet, ﷺ, whenever he used to break his fast, he used to say, the thirst has gone. He had fasted, fasted uh, like uh, 16, 17 hours. Yet the thirst has gone by the first sip of water he had. Which, which means that don't put any obstacles in front of your worship. Do it. Just do it. And after you do it, you will discover that Alhamdulillah it was a piece of cake. It was, don't, it, see, it's Satan. Again, and again, and again. He comes to you and say, yeah, come on man, fasting is difficult. Listen, I'm, give me a, a trial period. Man, I, like, I need like a, a year or two, uh, five years, ten years before I can pray. Oh, it's too difficult five times a day to fast a whole month. It's not. We have more than 1.5 billion people worldwide doing it. We have children, six years old, doing it. It's a piece of cake. It's nice. You just go ahead and try it. And if this Christian reverts to Islam, man, you're lucky. Why is that? Because all your sins that you've committed when you were a Christian are all gone. On the, well, in, in some of the scholars' interpretation of the Quran, they're not gone. They're transformed from sins into good deeds. So this guy, he's 40 years old. He used to do everything that any uh, non-Muslim would do. He had adultery, uh, abuse, uh, drugs, uh, intoxicants, gamble, cheat, all of these bad deeds. The minute he says, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, I bear witness that there is no God worthy of worshiping than Allah, except Allah, and that Muhammad is his messenger. The minute he says this, it all transforms, all the sins transforms into good deeds. So the guy is credited so much that, man, he's lucky. Some people, some Muslims say, God, I wish I was Christian, so I'd have this. No, no, don't do that. 
God will reward you more and more because God is so merciful. He has so much reward in store for us that He's just asking you, do it and I'll reward you. It's very simple. It's very easy. And it's all beneficial to you. All the things that you do is for you and for your sake. I think this is all the time uh, we have for today. Inshallah, until we meet next time. Fi amanillah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.